Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about ratios. Let us now talk about the next parameter to compare quantities and that is percentage. So what is percentage? So these are numerators of fractions with denominator 100. Confusing? Okay, let's start from the very beginning. The word percentage, it is derived from a Latin word which is percentum. What is the meaning of percentum? Centum is nothing but 100. So it basically means per 100. That means how much it is out of 100. That is called percentage. So when we talk about percentage, these are fractions where the denominator is always going to be 100 because we are talking about how much out of 100. So the denominator would always be 100 and the numerator could be anything. Percentage is denoted by this symbol. This is the symbol for percentage. So let's look at this example. Let's again talk about Mr. and Mrs. Smith who went out on a long drive. So let's say that they went on a long drive of say 100 kilometers. So 100 kilometers long drive. And let's say that Mrs. Smith, she drove for 75 kilometers and the remaining 25 kilometers was driven by Mr. Smith. Now, if I have to represent what percentage of the entire journey was covered by Mrs. Smith, so how would you calculate that percentage? So when I say percentage, that means out of 100, how much distance was covered by Mrs. Smith? So the total distance in this case is anyways 100 kilometer, right? So Mrs. Smith covered 75 kilometers out of 100 kilometers. So this 75 by 100 is nothing but a percentage. But instead of writing it like this, how do we represent it? This is represented as 75 percent. So 75 percent actually means 75 out of 100. So 75 kilometer out of 100 kilometers were covered was covered by Mrs. Smith. Similarly, if I ask about Mr. Smith, so he covered 25 kilometers out of 100 kilometers, which is basically 25%. So Mr. Smith covered 25% of the journey and Mrs. Smith covered 75% of the journey. So this is what percentage is all about. So percentage is always about how much out of 100. Now, in this case, the example was pretty simple. That's because the total distance that they covered was itself 100 kilometers. So you straight away wrote 75 kilometers out of 100 kilometers and you got 75%. What if the total distance covered is not 100 kilometers instead of that if it is 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers or something else. So in that case, how would you represent it in terms of percentage? So the everything, the entire scenario remains the same. Just that instead of this 100 kilometer, if you have some other number other than 100, what will happen? So what if the total distance covered is 20 kilometers? So let's say this is the total distance that they have covered. Now, in this case, let's say we see that Mrs. Smith covered, she, she drove for 12 kilometers and Mr. Smith drove for 8 kilometers. So in this case, how would we find out the percentage? So let us first calculate it for Mrs. Smith. So Mrs. Smith basically covered 12 kilometers out of 20 kilometers, right? But how do I convert this into percentage? Because percentage means it should the denominator should be 100. That means out of 100, how much? So this 12 by 20, how can you convert it to a number such that the denominator is 100? So for that, we do a very simple thing. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. So what do we get? So now we have this entire thing divided by 100. Right, so this actually becomes 12 in 200 divided by 20 percent. Right, because anything divided by 100 is percentage, and anything divided by 100 that divided by 100 can be replaced with the percentage symbol. So, now what is this? So, now if you look at it, 2 5 is 10, so this is 60. 60%. So that means Mrs. Smith this time covered 60% of the journey. What about Mr. Smith? 
let us again find out so he covered 8 kilometers out of 20 kilometers so let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 100 so this can be written as this entire part divided by 100 or 8 into 100 divided by 20 percent so this would be equal to 40 so Mr. Smith covered 40%. Now one interesting thing that you observe here is if you add these two, 60 plus 40, how much you get? You get 100. That's because we are talking about how much out of 100. Now here in this example, we have assumed that whatever distance Mrs. Smith covers and whatever distance Mr. Smith covered, all together they have covered the total distance. Right? So when we talk in terms of percentage, we mean that Mr. Smith covered 60 kilometers out of 100 kilometers. Mr. Smith covered 40 kilometers out of 100 kilometers. Right? So it is quite obvious that 60 plus 40 has to be 100. Right? So this is how we represent comparisons in terms of percentage. Now in this case, you see, if, if you just say, let's say that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith went out on a long drive, you really do not know how much was the exact kilometers they traveled or till how much kilometer Mrs. Smith drove and till how much kilometer Mr. Smith drove. But if you have this information that 60% of the time Mrs. Smith drove and 40% of the time Mr. Smith drove, you get an idea that who drove for a longer time. You get an idea that Mrs. Mrs. Smith drove the maximum distance. Now, this 60% could be 12 kilometers, this 60% could be 60 kilometers, it could be 600 kilometers, it could be 100 kilometers. So, it could the number could be anything, but when you talk in terms of percentage, it gives you a broad idea about, uh, you know, comparison of the quantities. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.